Welcome to Journeyman Electrician Exam Practice Test. Our topic today is basic electrical formulas. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. In the Pi formula circle, what does the letter E represent? A voltage. B power. C current. D resistance. The correct answer is A voltage. Explanation. In the Pi formula circle, P represents power, I represents the intensity of current, E represents voltage. Number 2. Which formula is used to define the current in a single phase circuit? A current equals power multiplied by voltage. B current equals voltage multiplied by ampere. C current equals power divided by voltage. D current equals voltage divided by power. The correct answer is C current equals power divided by voltage. Explanation. The formula used to determine the available power for a single phase circuit loader in electrical system is power equals current multiplied by voltage. Hence, the correct formula used to define the current in a single phase circuit is current equals power divided by voltage. Number 3. What is the maximum value that power factor marries? A 50%. B 100%. C 200%. D. There is no limit for the value of power factor. The correct answer is B 100%. Explanation. Power factor is the ratio between true power expressed as watts, kilowatts and the apparent power expressed as volt ampere or kilovolt ampere. Power factor is expressed as a percent that does not exceed 100% or a decimal. Number 4. When will the voltage and the current reach their peak and zero values at the same time? A. When they are out of phase. B. When the circuit contains inductance. C. When the circuit contains capacitance. D. When they are in phase. The correct answer is D. When they are in phase. Explanation. When the current and the voltage are in phase, the voltage and the current will reach their peak and zero values at the same time. This is what we call unity, or a power factor of 100%. Number 5. Determine the current of the 300 watt single phase electrical load, given that its power factor is 0.8 and its voltage is 240 volts. A 0.8 amperes. B 1 ampere. C 1.25 amperes. D. 1.56 amperes. The correct answer is D 1.56 amperes. Explanation. The formula used to determine the current of a single phase electrical loader system when the voltage and power factor are known is current equals power divided by the multiplication of voltage and power factor. Plugging in the given values of watts, volts and power factor, we have current equals 300 divided by the multiplication of 240 and 0.8, then we get the current value of 1.56 amperes. Number 6. Determine the voltage drop of two size 10 AWG copper conductors that supply an 8 ampere load located 100 feet from a voltage source. Given, the total resistance of the two conductors is 0.2 ohms. A 1.6 volts. B 8 volts. C 16 volts. D 80 volts. The correct answer is A 1.6 volts. Explanation. The formula used to determine the voltage or voltage drop in an electrical circuit when the current and resistance are known is voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. In this case, voltage equals 8 amperes multiplied by 0.2 ohms equals 1.6 volts. Number 7. 6 horsepower equals A 746 watts. B 4476 watts. C 2.4 kilowatts. D 4 kilowatts. The correct answer is B 4476 watts. Explanation. 1 horsepower equals 746 watts. 
Therefore, 6 horsepower is equal to 6 multiplied by 746 watts equals 4476 watts. Number 8. Where a 120 volt microwave oven is rated 1200 watts, how much current in amperes will the microwave oven draw? A 0.1 amperes. B. 5 amperes. C. 10 amperes. D. 15 amperes. The correct answer is C. 10 amperes. Explanation. We apply the current formula, current equals power divided by voltage. In this case, current equals 1200 watts divided by 120 volts, then we get the answer of 10 amperes. Number 9. Calculate the power factor of a 5 kilowatt load drawing 30 amperes of current when connected to a 208 volt single phase source. A 46%. B 80%. C 83%. D 92%. The correct answer is B80%. Explanation. We apply the power factor formula. The power factor equals the power in watt divided by the multiplication of the voltage in volt and the current in ampere. In this case, the power factor equals 1000 times of 5 kilowatts divided by the multiplication of 208 volts and 30 amps. Then, we get the answer of 0.8 or 80%. Number 10. When a 400 ampere rated commercial service is supplied with a 480 volt delta 277 volt Y, three phase, four wire electrical system, the service has a rating of A 110.8 kV ampere, B 144.1 kV ampere, C 192 kV ampere, D 332.5 kV ampere. The correct answer is D332.50 kV ampere. Explanation. We apply the power formula, 3 phase, power in kV ampere equals 1.732 times the multiplication of current in ampere and voltage in volt divided by 1000. In this case, the power equals 1.732 times the multiplication of 400 amperes and 480 volts divided by 1000. Then we get the answer of 332.5 kV ampere. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.